Hey, good morning, Internet. I'm on a little walk here with Ivan, uh, who's preparing for the U-Lead Summit. How's it going this morning? It's cool. It's coming together. Yeah, we got a lot of different teams working together here. We got groups doing the logistics and the operations, like literally getting the hotel beds and food ready. We got the program team who's working so hard to bring many, many topics together. Wow. Our artistic crew. But I brought Ivan today to talk a little bit more about the themes of the conference and the real kind of meat of what we're getting into. He's got a very interesting background. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect. Uh, the issue is about leadership and the space of youth in the process of decision making and uh, the role and, and in development uh, of this region. We talk about regionalism and regional integration for this region and for Africa in general. But we are integrating for who? The youth are the leaders of today and leaders of tomorrow. And what we are trying to do is make sure the youth know their place and position in, in, in society and take responsibility in addressing their That's challenges. That's right. And today. we have some targets for like youth representation in parliament, right? But we're falling short. Yeah. Uh, youth compose or made up, make up up to 70 plus percent of the current region's population and representation and participation is low compared to the profile of young people in terms of population. So we want to increase the number of young people that can take up positions of policy making responsibility. Yeah, man. And this is the start of stimulating and creating an active agency of youth leaders. Beautiful, it's so inspiring. Tell me about some of the types of youth leaders that are gonna be coming to join us. You can expect so many varieties of young leaders from young politicians such as members of parliament that represent youth constituencies. You can expect chairpersons or CEOs of national youth councils from across the region. You can expect under 40 CEOs of companies and corporate bodies. You can expect regional parliamentarians of the East African legislature. And then assembly. sitting right alongside those people, there will be youth migrants who are leaders in their communities, refugees. Yes, yes. Talk about it. Refugees are part of the rapidly growing population of the region and we don't want to leave anyone behind. Yeah, so refugees are a key feature of this summit. We want to give them a space, we want to give them a voice and know how they are doing while settling in their new communities and countries. So good. Grateful for the work you do. So inspiring, man. He's been a great leader for us on the ground here. We're so excited to welcome everybody to the MT MSTC DC campus here soon. We'll see you after the weekend. See you. Yulid is here. Yulid 2019. Leaving no one behind. Yeah.